Good morning and welcome to a day in the life of a strong woman and a strong man's fiance. Um, so we're up and at her this morning, cardio already done. I've been doing some interval training um, due to the Arnold's being a little bit more um, conditioned. So it all depends on how I feel in the morning, but um, yeah, and then now we've got coffee and we're on our way to town. All right, so first things first, before we head out, I always take uh, my vitamins from FNX. So first start, um, Joint Plus. I take them morning and night. So I take one in the morning, one at night. Um, I also take uh, the React. Let's get my brain going. D3 K2. Renew. Oh, really? And then I'll take um, usually some cold assist because I don't want to get sick. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Morning stack. You guys be good boys, okay? You guys be good boys. We'll see you other guys in a bit. All right, here's a fun fact about Sam. She hates shopping. I'm not a fan of shopping for things that aren't clothes or shoes. So, we're out grabbing a couple of things um, like spices and accessories or whatever for meal prep today. Max is meal prepping, so I'll be following and just kind of exploring, um, getting things that we don't really need. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna meal prep this afternoon, so we'll be all set for the weekend. So let's go. Okay, I have one video that needs to be shown to everyone that's not a dog owner. This is hands down the best thing to get home to when you have love and puppies that miss you so much. But we've only been gone for like an hour or so. You're jumping, you're jumping. Hi guys, hi guys. Let's go inside. What did you guess? Oh, they grow back. Come on, come inside. Come inside. Hi. Hi, you. What's going on, you? Look at those little tails. All the kisses to daddy. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's go inside. All right, so we are heading out for what, Serby? Are we going out for a car ride? Car ride? You wanna go for a car ride? Yeah, yeah so we just got an EA order. Um, so I'm going to actually um, ship it out right away. Uh, if I do have some times when it comes in, I like to ship it out right away. Um, just, that was our big focus this year for Evolution Athletic Canada was to keep uh, customer service a priority. Um, so we did some changes on our website. So we only hold right now what's in stock here in our store. Um, so we can ship it out right away and just that have that better um, customer service with uh, our athletes here in Canada. But guys, this is a reminder that if we don't have anything in stock that you would like, please send us a message. Like we'll get it in stock for you guys and um, yeah, we'll ship it pronto. But we're just about keeping it real. Um, we can't hold everything in inventory because it would cost us a fortune and we're just starting. But we also want to help all the Canadian athletes have the best gear out there. So heading out to post office and uh, after that we'll just sit back and uh, do some work. Uh, I've got some updating to do on our website for Strawman Corp and I do have a few emails to go through. Um, so this will be the next few hours. Max is meal prepping right now and um, 
yeah, we're probably gonna have a bit of time to chill down before a workout, um, which we already we always like to do at least an hour or so before working out. We like just to sit down and put work aside so we can focus on our next tasks. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna take the boys out for a nice little drive around the, the river. Hi right, guys, where are we going? But yeah. All right, as I'm driving around the river to make sure the guys enjoy a little bit of the car ride today. Um, I asked earlier today uh, on Instagram for a couple questions, so let me see if I can answer one or two here. Um, all right, let's start with, when will you and Mel get a training session together? So, um, Mel lives on the opposite side of the country. Um, but I kind of want to touch base on this subject. So when I first started, Mel was pretty much fresh as well. We started maybe a year apart or so. Um, but it's always been such, such good pleasure to have such a great ambassador like Mel to look up to and uh, literally kick my ass. So. Yeah, we always want to be the best in the country, the best in the world, and to be able to achieve uh, those titles and those records and whatnot, you have to have some sort of person that pushes you and motivates you. I do have Max on a daily basis that like, you know, with training and stuff like, and like the day to day things, like he's like by far the best thing ever, but when it comes to competition, um, I'm not competing against Max. So, uh, Mel has just been the best. Uh, she's been pushing me uh, every, every year uh, to become the absolute best along with her. So, we do, uh, we've had our, obviously when we step on the platform, like, it is all hell and we want to beat each other, but it is a, it's just so great to, to have such a genuine person like her to be uh, able to push me in a way that a lot of girls or a lot of people here in our country aren't quite, um, I guess, able to because she's such at a high elite level and such a great, great ambassador for her sport. So I'm just really thankful for Mel and um, I do hope that I get to go out west again and we used to do it all the time before when I first started and when I first turned pro, um, there were so many pro shows out west so I'd be able to kind of catch up with her and um, uh, compete along with her. We did a few shows back uh, one summer, it was so fun. I love uh, the girls out west. Um, but uh, you can now catch us on the biggest cricket platform at the Arnold this year. So it'll be great. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, here's another one before we get home. What single lift or set are you proudest of completing either in training or competition? Well, if you have been following me, I guess, now for the last couple of years, um, I've hit some pretty, pretty great lifts in 2022. Um, let's start with, let, and let's make sure to have this video up there. Um, I hit a 183.9 dumbbell, uh, being an all-time world record, and to be able to do it as a middleweight is pretty fucking rad. Um, I am literally just waiting for Rogue to announce a circuit dumbbell, a max circuit dumbbell because um, I've got plans on hitting that 200 pound soon in the near future. I will be ready for it because I know that last year I had it. If I would have um, had to go and get 200, I had it. Um, but that is by far the most successful lift. I mean, everything in training was not perfect, uh, which w is what makes us raw and upfront. Nothing in training. I mean, I had a lot of great training days, but there's some days we had to train or to tweak and fix the whole training program. Uh, but the eight to 10 weeks that we had programmed for my dumbbell leading up to the world record was just, was just so good. And um, yeah, I'm just waiting for, uh, just waiting to be able to break it because I know I can break it again. Um, and 
I guess last year, like, other than the dumbbell, um, my deadlift at the Shaw Classic was pretty cool too. I think it was a 500 and I hit seven reps, um, which was a huge accomplishment for me. It was a 12 inch deadlift. It wasn't from the floor, but it was still really good. Um, so I just plan on doing the same thing this year and everything's going to be PR. Everything's about generally making yourself better as an athlete, as a coach, as a entrepreneur. So that's what I just strive on achieving this year. Just keep crushing whatever I'm chasing. All right, squat night, leg day. Um, what frame? So what? What frame? Yeah, so we're doing some squats and then we'll do some frame. Uh, one of our last heavy leg day as we are creeping on the Arnold Classic. Um, so I'm gonna actually put you guys through um, my warm up and then uh, yeah, I'll show you guys um, a couple of things that I do before every session. Um, so yeah, keep you guys posted. First, I want to show you guys one thing I do um, before putting my barefoot shoes. I put my awesome wraps on. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how I um, how I wrap my my ankles for that extra support. So today I'm doing uh, days in my life, and I can't go on without mentioning my best friend. Big joke. I'm very pretty, pretty fucking grateful to have him back in my life and as my training partner. And then this new guy, Mark. Um, this gym is just full of fucking positive, good vibe, and I love it. Um, anyways, anyways, on to fucking frame carry. Last heavy one before the big get, big day. Let's go. All right, so main work is all done. I did my frame, Max did his last frame. Joey, did his last just frame. looking good. And that's all he's been doing today. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we're gonna do a bit of accessories and then we'll head home and do um, food and recovery like we do every goddamn day because it is who stays the most consistent and who repeats himself every day that will build himself brick by brick and then get to the contests and you just hope that all the everything comes in together and you can just perform like you've worked for these last 12 15 weeks uh, years um so yeah um this pretty much says that prep's done we have like maybe once yeah strongman saturday and then that's it so we are getting pretty tired 
and our CNs are starting to get really tired, but you can tell when you're at the end of the prep, it means you're tired, it means you've done your work. And I'm just kind of excited now to get to Ohio and just fucking crush it, so. All right, post-workout routine. Sometimes it is not for the pleasure, actually 90% of the time it's never for pleasure. This is just for recovery and sometimes even just like mental toughness because this is so hard. But I'll do um, cold baths with alternating with shower, a hot shower to have my, uh, but yeah, um, so cold bath, hot bath, and then in the meantime that my cold bath's getting filled up, I'll get um, a leafy game protein cookie in me um, as my turkey is cooking downstairs. So, uh, but for now, it's all about recovery. Last clip of the day. If you made it this far, um, I'm going to leave you guys with my nightly routine. So after um, our workout, uh, we get home, um, ice bat, cold bats, and uh, our rough days. Uh, and then right after, we'll have our last meal of the day, uh, post-workout slash pre-bed, and then we'll hit the hay. Um, but before that, I'll take my um, nightly stack um, from FNX. So I got my Joint Plus again, and then my Relax, which helps me tremendously have a very nice deep sleep. Um, and I'll some Renew. And then D3K2. Now, I know for a fact that today, I didn't eat all my vegetables, and didn't have, um, uh, what's that? Oh, sorry. Um, so I know for a fact today that I didn't get enough greens in. Um, I'll get some super reds in as well. So redemption and rebalance from FNX every night. One scoop. Yeah, I'll put you outside after. Yes. And then some super greens. They taste amazing. Stir it in there. Quick shot of that and then good to go. And then, um, yeah, Max made me uh, reminded me one shot of recover, because recovery because this stuff is so good. Fun fact: we can't get it shipped to Canada. Don't know why, but it's the best thing. This is why America is so strong. All right, now last meal of the day. I'm having what turkey burgers, uh, and then yeah, tomorrow's a rest day, but we're. 14 days out as of tomorrow, so time's ticking and it's just about keeping healthy now and um, we'll see you guys all at the Arnold Classic. Sam, first thoughts, laying your eyes on this monstrosity. 